Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about UTM tracking, tracking templates in Google Ads versus the use cases specifically with Shopify today. So if you are a Google Ads specialist, Google Ads agency or a client advertiser running Google Ads for your business and you are not tracking Google Ads, UTM tracking or tracking template, this video will be a step by step tutorial to help you understand why you need to do this and what are the implications of it, right? So a case happened with us, you know, uh, we onboarded a client, we were managing campaigns for them and we were sending them weekly reports. On the last call that we had with the client, turns out that they were not super happy with our performance of the campaigns. And we tried to probe a little what was going on and turns out, <laughs> to my surprise, it turns out that they were looking at a report in Shopify, which is called Sales Attributed to Marketing Report. And they were thinking that a lot of heavy lifting was done by organic. You know, Google was the primary source of conversions, but this is the last month report, but a lot of over uh, heavy lifting was done by SAG organic particular campaign. And in fact, the next best was CPC, but it was a very small amount out of the total mix, which is 66,000 was the total sales last month. But the CPC's contribution was only 3,800 and they were super concerned about this. Regardless of what's happening in Google Ads interface and the reports that we were sending, they were looking at this report in Shopify and thinking that we are <laughs> not doing well enough. And not only that, we are fudging our numbers. And that's a huge concern. So then I figured, why are they seeing this? And I immediately figured that probably we don't have UTM parameters or tracking templates set up in our campaigns. And that's the reason why they're not, not able to see the UTM campaign name and stuff that they see. I mean, look at the analytics report and you will see, uh, they would come to their Shopify store and they would scroll down here and see, they would see this report. And this is, this is the case with most business owners, right? It, it can be the case with most business owners that they would not understand the implication of it. Shopify has given you a report and you generally would care that, okay, this report is automatically correct in tracking every source of traffic and sales coming from that. So I don't blame them. Uh, they had every right to follow Shopify's reporting template and understand that we were not doing well enough. I mean, now it shows that shopping campaign performance is appearing, but this is because it's the last seven day report. If you look at the last 30 day report or last month's report, and this is what they were looking at, by the way, and they noticed that sales attributed to marketing, the big chunk was coming from SAG organic campaign, which is organic search. And the next next best was email campaign. The third best was a promo. And the fourth best was the Google ads campaign, the DSA campaign that we were running for them. Very sad state of affairs. So here is what was, uh, like I said, the UTM parameters were not set up, the tracking template was not set up in Google Ads campaigns, and that's the reason why this was happening. So we immediately went into the Google Ads campaign, turned on, added the tracking template, and I'm going to explain to you step by step how you can do this for your, your campaigns. If you're familiar with tracking template, you can stop watching this video here, go ahead and uh, check if your campaigns, all of your campaigns have the tracking template properly set up, and if they do, Great job, you are a you are a rock star, I love you. But if you don't have that set up, or if you don't understand how UTM tracking templates are set up in Google Ads campaigns, watch through the end and you will understand, walk away with very specific learning about how to do it for, for your Google Ads campaigns. And also understand how you can proactively preempt the uh, friction points between you and your clients and understand you know, bridge the any gap that is there. All right, so let's look at UTM tracking template. What, what I like to do is, I'll give you the simple way, straightforward like TLDR way, <laughs> uh, or I will also, uh, and I'll also understand, uh, explain to you, so that you understand the step-by-step, -step, you know, entire process. So first, the hard way, the boring way, which is the step-by-step -step process, so that you understand how UTM tracking works, how tracking templates are set up, and you know, you can do this not just for uh, a particular shopping campaign, but any other campaign in Google Ads, and you will understand the whole context of it. 
So there is this help article. If you Google it, search set up tracking for Google Ads. Uh, this is for shopping campaigns, by the way. I have another one for you, where which is for all the campaigns. Where is that? I just had it. This is also shopping. I have shopping campaign pulled up because I struggled to set it up with shopping, and I have a hack for you. Like you would probably notice that shopping campaigns, uh, UTM tracking fails when you test it. So I have that hack that value add as well. So first of all, why don't we do this from the ground up? Let's Google it. So UTM tracking template Google Ads. Okay. That's my query setup tracking with value track parameters. That is the link I was talking about. So setup tracking with value track parameters. Now value track pa parameters are the parameters that Google passes about all the elements of the campaigns and you can record these read these value track parameters using UTMs in your whatever is the platform which is Shopify or in case of lead gen HubSpot go high level or whatever platform you are uh, using so data uh, is passing through Google Ads like campaign activity is happening on the Google's network Google gives you value track parameters pass these value track parameters and read them on the platform of choice that you have between Google platforms like you know Google Ads and Google Analytics, there is this auto tagging thing, tagging thing which is already enabled, uh, or you can enable. If auto, auto tagging is set up, you don't need to pass these value track parameters between the platform of Google. But the moment you have a third party platform, which is Shopify in this case, you would need value track parameters, and this is a very very handy tool for tracking how uh, performance is. Uh, you know happening like you know imagine you want to attribute sales to the keyword that was searched or the ad that was clicked on your campaign and you want to identify which particular keyword that people searched for or which particular ad that they no clicked on that led to a sale and what was the ROAS out of that sale right so then you can go and double down on that keyword on that ad on that ad group on that campaign on that any other variable you are looking at correct so that's the that's the beauty of this value track parameter and UTM tracking template and UTM tracking into your you know specific platform all right hope I have not confused you <laughs> anyway let's let's move on uh, let's understand this here so you can read through this article I'll jump to the specifics of it so how it works you have to just add this LP URL you know this is the prefix that will replace your whatever is the destination URL on your ads LP URL will replace that and after that you have to add a query string and then keep adding your value track parameters here or UTM uh, you know parameters right so uh, we'll build a you know tracking template together and you'll apply this in the campaign I will actually show you how I have tracking here so uh, available value track parameters you can go through all of these you know you see campaign ID ad group ID feed item ID extension ID target ID a lot of these value parameters value track parameters are available which can be quite revealing uh, if you want to track the performance of clicks and visitors end to end throughout the funnel so read through it I would generally take campaign the source medium a keyword and add and that should be enough I mean that's generally enough for me so I'll show you the shortcut way which is how it's set up here so I've gone into my Google Ads campaign and gone to settings and under the settings this is additional setting here that you will have to go through uh, enable and under the additional setting you will see campaign URL options and this is the tracking template I have I want to break this down for you so let me uh, cut it from here and put it in the URL here so that you can easily see now you can see right so see this LP URL is the prefix that uh, variable to replace the URL on your ads then question mark and I have these standard UTM parameters so UTM source I have as Google uh, this is hard coded UTM medium I have as CPC a UTM campaign I don't want to campaign the track the campaign ID I want to see this track the specific campaign name right because ID is not revealing when you are uh, reading that report then I have UTM campaign content 
add type UTM term which is product ID this is for a shopping campaign you can replace this product ID and add type with um, add ID and keywords right so this is how you build a tracking template step by step once you have this tracking template go ahead and set up this in your campaign so paste it here uh, now ideally you should test it and when you test it it should say that it's successful and Google was, was able to find the LP URL so but here in particularly in the shopping campaign case if you test it's gonna give you this internal error occurred try again but it works why because I have left it like this and I will show you that it's actually working if I look at the report for last seven days you will notice that the UTM parameters of the campaign name are showing up here sales attributed to marketing shopping non-brand best sellers TROS high campaign shopping non-brand catch-all TROS high this is the campaign where I had put the UTM tracking uh, you know template right so in my campaign name you see I have put this campaign name shopping non-brand catch-all TROS high this is my campaign name which is appearing here which is proofs proof that even if this fails and it does in the case of shopping campaigns only it's actually working right so you can it's not going to break anything right it will either track or not track but it's tracking I have shown you here right so I will also show you the detailed report of this so that you understand what what's the value add what what else you can see so you can customize the columns and look at all these UTM parameters that you can populate you see right whatever you have passed on see I have campaign name so now if I'm my client was looking at the last seven days report they would notice that uh, it's not wait one second uh, remove some of these let's just keep the campaign name medium as source and term we can just let it be you see so now they would see that Google is the top out of the 17,000 sales that happened Google search and that particular campaign this TROS uh, bestseller campaign was the highest contributor in their whole sales right so now they don't have this uh, flawed understanding of our campaigns were not doing enough like if you, they looked at the last month's report they wouldn't see the Google Ads campaign being the they would see the SAG organic campaign being the highest contributor which is not the case in last seven days because we have UTM tracking in place now the last seven days preview had changed right so this is a win now I think uh, my client would be super happy to see that you know Google is actually contributing and Shopify report is now showing that evidence so you too can you know set this up if you are a client uh, you're running your own campaigns or you're using an agency or employee have them set up this because uh, it gives you the complete visibility of how the particular campaign or the ad or the keyword or product is performing in terms of ROAS and sales right so hope this is helpful and if you have any question drop me in the comments I will be happy to answer um, last but not least if you are a client if you are a, a DTC brand owner if you are a e-commerce website owner and you need help with Google Ads reach out to us this is the only thing we do and we are really good at this so we will be happy to help you uh, if you are a Google Ads specialist or, a, or an agency and you need help with Google Ads check out our courses at academy.guidedtopc.com uh, we have two courses the basic mindset course and the advanced level course and we also have four coaching call recordings where we have covered at least 50 60 odd case studies of actual Google Ads accounts where we have helped other specialists in other agencies in managing their campaigns understanding their pain points and you know the campaign setup and giving them uh, directions so that is the, those 60 70 odd case studies will be super helpful to you if you're an agency or a specialist and likewise if you're a client like you know if you want to do this yourself there is no harm in doing that you know if you're willing to invest uh, 50 60 hours in our courses I guarantee that by the time you complete our two courses and four coaching call recordings anybody can figure out Google Ads it's not 
it's not a rocket science exactly i mean it is <laughs> rocket science but i have put together my 15 years of experience of all the grind and you know uh, the juice is out there in the first batch second batch courses which gives you the understanding of google ads and how google ads works and then those coaching called recordings which are 60 70 odd case studies that give you complete understanding of how my brain works with 15 years of experience in understanding the google access campaign structure and giving them directions uh, you know what i would do in those cases hope this is helpful uh, thank you uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so far and hope this particular video content where i have explained the importance of utm tracking and tracking template and also why you should be doing this is helpful cheers